Hello, gorgeous creatures, gorgeous souls. Mystical madness messages coming up here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a reading. How's everyone? I hope everyone's doing fine. We have seven inches of snow, and I drove home it in this unexpectedly i i haven't got scared driving in the snow in a while but i i was because it was going around it it was a it was a winding roads and you couldn't even see the road coming ahead or where i i, I even lost track to where i was i'm telling you that's how bad it was and i haven't had that happen to me in a long time well anyways i just heard the song Time after time. I haven't heard it in years. It's one of my favorite songs, so I feel like it's a message. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting time after time. Okay? So that I feel like somebody, oh, and there was a part in it that, that said, I will find you. So maybe, maybe someone's looking for you to give you a message or wants to come and see you. Okay, because it was that, and it was another song that was pertaining to the same thing. Um, all right, so this is going to be, um, I didn't even look at that card yet. This is just going to be, I'm just going to do what's the energy today instead of a sign. Because to be honest with you, if you do five different signs, they all come out the same sometimes. So this that's why these collective readings messages for everybody may resonate a little bit more you know okay so let me see okay no i wasn't ready to take those so holy spare what messages do we need there's one nine of swords somebody is in a not a good mental state that's like depression the nine of swords or just overthinking anxiety overthinking something too much there's an angel up there though so that's you know they're you're definitely um had help if you call on it justice nine of swords and justice wow So, see, I don't, like, if you're getting justice, something was, you know, probably done or happened, and uh, it needs to be made even, but justice falling on the Nine of Swords. Maybe somebody isn't going to like this, that you're getting this, the scales balanced. I never noticed that there's like a looks like a mushroom in there right there I never noticed that before if that is a mushroom that's a mushroom the spiritual meaning for a mushroom is like a solid um, grows grows in any um, atmosphere I forgot to be honest with you, but I know it's something to do with like the way they grow so um, easily. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not even going to keep going. I'm embarrassed because I can't remember. <laughs> no, I'm not embarrassed. But anyways, oh my gosh. Okay, so justice and the six of wands, which is um, somebody could be doing something. My head's itching as I'm saying this. Someone could be doing something under lights. On their way to stardom, a singer, a dancer, songwriter, uh, guitar player, musician of musician of some sort, and with maybe somebody was trying to affect this for somebody, and that's what the justice is. I'm I'm just giving scenarios. I'm gonna keep going until I can pick up the story. Whoa, too many came out. Please clarify the six of wands. Wow. Okay, so this uh, seven of swords, something was done. Of course, we we saw that with the justice. 
Seven of Swords, something done in the dark. Maybe to affect this. Let me, let me see if I put them. Okay, so there was a Seven of Swords that happened. Could have been something to do with somebody's progress or job or um, I feel like social media. That's not a social media card. The Six of Wands is usually um, public recognition of some sort. So... But there's justice here. And look, the Empress. So if I'm putting these away, I usually do the Empress. This th this could be the, even the Empress that's having like a um, mental or a hard time, uh, anxiety, depression over whatever happened. The Seven of Swords. Okay, that's, let's see. Clarify the Justice card. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. And Queen of Pentacles, yes, solid with the money, but sometimes can be, you know, uh, a little arrogant, uh, a little egotistical, you know, it, especially in, like, uh, you know, your negative side, your shadow side. The reason I'm saying that is because this one doesn't look happy here, the way she's sitting and facing towards the Empress, Okay. That there's a reason that came out like that. She's facing right towards the Empress. So that's why I think this Queen of Pentacles, male or female, whoever, uh, it's an earth sign, obviously, or just somebody with, you know, money. Um, usually it's always the sign. You're, you're the sign that comes out, usually. But in this case, it could just be somebody with money. Um, but that Queen of Pentacles is sitting on the justice. So, let's see, that's what I mean. It could either be this Queen of Pentacles that's in this Nine of Swords and energy over something you getting recognition possibly, or it's this Queen of Pentacles that did this to an Empress. It took a lot of friggin' patience here with the temperance coming out right after. You still did this. You still did something positive, even though somebody did this, the ultimate seven of swords. The, I say ultimate because the nine of swords is there too. So that's like nine swords in the back, and, and that's Gemini energy. So, all right, um, temperance is getting... Your chakras balanced. It is guidance from the universe or um, your ancestors, God, Holy Spirit. There's a huge a angel in the background. It looks like Archangel Michael. And he's like a protection angel that people call on. But not only just protection. You can call on him for anything. So temperance. For you to get through that, you did. Temperance card wouldn't be coming out. Whoever I'm speaking to, you still, okay. I was going to say, you still did something creative. Because there's a book here. You learned something new. Okay, even though this was happening. But also, this card represents somebody watching you. And this is falling on the Seven of Swords. So whoever caused this Seven of Swords could be watching you right now. Clarify the Empress, please. Come on, give me the story. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Page of Swords. <laughs> I'm learning how to act or ask the right questions. And I can't speak today. I went to my daughter's after work yesterday, so I didn't have to drive so far for the next day. Hour and forty five minutes of sleep, two hours at the most. I'm I'm my legs are weak and everything. I just got a burst of energy when that song came on. Okay, so here's the balance card. 
that's falling on the Empress. Maybe you had to balance out your your emotions after this, or you know you you did that already because it is it, it's in the past. Okay, let me see what else we want to ask for. I mean, this is a simple reading, but if we keep going, we can see who if you have uh, if this was done to a couple, or if this was just done to one person. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Some reason that card don't want to. Okay. This one popped up. Somebody who put burdens. Burdens on you that were unnecessary. Or burdens on somebody else that you love or your person. Something like that. Maybe this Knight of Pentacles. This is an earth sign. Could have purposely, intentionally put burdens on. Uh, just to keep you use a power. This Knight of Pentacles is facing towards the star or whoever this is, getting the public recognition. Or he he's actually walking towards. He's already on his way, so that could be. I got a little bit of a cocky attitude all of a sudden, and I don't even know why. <laughs> I'm like. Like back in the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so anyways, this Knight of Pentacles is facing the Six of Wands. But the Six of, uh, the Six, uh, whoever's on this star in this, you know, under lights here is, has their back turned, obviously. Clarify. Wow, uh, I didn't even have to. We got a page of Pentacles now. A lot of Earth here. So this is a this is an earth sign here, uh, or a me um, a message from an earth earth sign, or this is, could be an earth sign coming in with like a some kind of maybe uh, opportunity to I don't know work together, or it it, do, it doesn't always have to be that because of the pentacle. It could be love, and it just be an earth sign coming in with a message. All right, clarify the page of swords. Look at this, how these landed. Just like she looks, they landed. So this is another card of creativity, the Page of Wands, but this can also be a rival person. And uh, like your adversary, your opponent, somebody who was in competition. Oh my God, look at the freaking competition card was right there as I was saying it. So yeah, I'm going to go with this Page of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries Leo Sag. Or the person could just have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their chart. This also is a, a very creative person, usually. So, it is falling on the page of swords. So, I'm going to give you the two scenarios. Either, like, whoever whoever this is under the, the lights, there's a lot of creativity. Empress, public recognition, justice, um... You could have done all these things after the, uh, you know, after the Seven of Swords. Because these are, these are both at getting educated and, um, but I'm not getting that here. Because I can't even speak, speak it out. I'm getting it falling on, okay. We got, okay, this is, this is how this role goes. Conflict and drama. Gossip. Fighting, even. Slander. The Five of Wands is a, is a crappy card to get. It, it, it means there's fire in here, too, well, the wands. But there's people literally laying down on the ground. So, this, um, whatever happened, it was, it was several people. Maybe, maybe you were on social media and, and people were affecting it, but it was a bunch of people. Could have been a group of people. Blah, there's the word I was looking for. So anyways, you got the conflict and drama from, if you go up from, from this page of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this person could be watching you. And after this seven of swords, something done in the dark. Uh, something that was hidden, something that ha was unexpected, 
So that's how I'm going to keep that for now with that page of wands. But just remember, it could be more creativity for you and not a rival. My ears are ringing, though, so I think it is. <laughs> okay, we got another card of intuition. Queen of Wands. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Who is this now? I mean, the, I'm... Because sometimes the Queen of Wands could be uh, when she's not balanced. The Queen of Wands could be quite vindictive. Okay? So this Queen of Wands is falling on the balance card. Maybe you were in the Queen of Wands, you got balanced, and then you're the Empress. And now you're the Empress. And somebody did the, the Nine of Swords to you. It could go that way too. Two different queens here. These don't have to be female either. Somebody can be in the Queen of Wands in a, you know, and just be super emotional, super uh, not feminine. I didn't. I I was gonna say that, but uh, you know, if you're emotional, you could be in more of a feminine side. I don't think men like to hear it, but we all have male and female in us. This is, I keep playing with that, and I'm so sorry. I, I watch other people do it, and I'm like, why are you? But it's because the camera. All right. <laughs> all right, so, okay, now this. No. I'm not guided to take it. It was the Five of Cups. I thought for sure that, that, nope. All right clarify this conflict I don't know if I want to clarify that right now because that comes along with the seven of swords alright how about this let's clarify the queen of wands I didn't even have to okay this this I'm supposed to take this is a, a card of intuition so the queen of wands is super intuitive the empress is um, the Six of Wands person, I'm sure, is, is intuitive. Or creative is what I meant for that Six of Wands. But here's the Seven of Wands. That's also, uh, intuition. This is a card of healing. Um, and it could also be a card of competition. Okay? And in this case, I feel like it is. Seven of Wands is sometimes breaking away from all that, too, and healing. That's falling on the Empress and the Queen of Wands. All right, let's keep going. We got a King of Cups here. And an Eight of Pentacles. So this, this Eight of Pentacles here is falling on this page. Which tells me that somebody was possibly working on their money and that and waiting to come in until they worked on their money. This is also a beautiful card. It's more than just somebody working on their money. It's a huge accomplishment to get up to the Eight of Pentacles. In tarot, who knows what amount that is, but if tens the most, no one's saying you're rich. You could just be stable. Finally, stable in your life. You know, if you're the empress, don't have the people right away think tons of money. No, no, it's it's not always that. Trust me. <laughs> All right, well, we got three of cups now celebrating after this conflict. But this could have been third party because it's all in this row. Now I'm going to show you this row, okay? I went back to my old way and now it's making sense to me. Third party, or three people, right, on this card? Caused conflict and drama. Or the third party did. This is uh, Aries Leo Sag. So somebody born in the, between the months March, April. Okay. Or not April, March. 
March for Aries. So this, this could be the third party. And now this third party or your person is watching you. Maybe they feel bad after this deception and cheating. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going here because that Three of Cups could be a, a celebratory card, okay? Don't forget that. It just went perfectly with that, with all that other stuff. It really did. So, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Are you celebrating with this King of Cups? Are you are you going to be celebrating? And who are you going to... Well, I can't ask two questions. Who's coming in to celebrate with the Collective? We got a High Priestess. <laughs> and a... Virgo. So maybe this, this is a card of healing also, but when I ask the question, this is what I got. Uh, this a high priest is, um, I don't know the sign. I know that uh, Pisces are highly intuitive. So... Maybe it's somebody, maybe it's uh, a Virgo and a Pisces, you know, in their chart. Or this could be a card of healing. But still, this is telling me that um, you probably already know what happened. So you don't have to worry about it coming to light. Or most of it, you know, something like that. That The high priestess um, has psychic abilities. Uh, mainly the card don't come out unless somebody does have some kind of uh, empathetic, some kind of healing abilities, and maybe that's what this card is about here. Because High Priestess and Empress, we got a lot of powerful. This also could be, the, um, this could be a, a male as a High Priest. I don't think they actually had two different cards, so. Someone could have red hair. I know everybody says that about that card, but red is a significant color, you know what I mean? It could just be someone likes red. All right, and then we got Virgo. So, so far we have Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, specifically Pisces. I usually see Scorpio in here, but I don't, I don't see Scorpio unless they're entwined in the water signs. Earth, a lot of Earth. Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, just in case. Twice on the Virgo. Um, all right, well, that's it for this. I'm going to, don't focus on the signs so much anyhow, but I know people do like to get an idea, you know. I hope I just mixed up this this whole deck for no reason so somebody could be feeling mixed up mixed messages something like that all right Holy Spirit are you kidding me right now <laughs> okay this card was not drawn yet. And it was just sticking out, so it got stuck in this life insurance flyer, right? Sun card. <laughs> I'm definitely supposed to take this. It was sitting right there. All right, so the sun card. Everything's coming to light. We saw that the high priestess usually, you know, whatever you did figure out, you'll, you'll find out what happened here or why it happened, or something that's going to be important to you. But not only that, this is like wishes coming true. This is um, elevation, death and rebirth, or not death and rebirth, um, elevation. It's, it could have been a death and rebirth, I said it. But 19. Something could be happening on the 19th. Somebody's birthday could be on the 19th. This is Leo, too. 
So now Leo's in the mix, even though I said Leo, the, an actual Leo card didn't come out. So now, clarify the sun. Was this meant to come out, Holy Spirit? Was the sun card meant to come out? Higher fin. <laughs> that's a yes. But that's also Taurus. This, that, so now, now Taurus is in Taurus and Virgo separate and in with the air signs. But we got a Taurus and a Virgo here. And the, the Hierophant, now this is what this is what I'm guessing. One he uses a high priestess, one he uses a more uh, of a like a public figure or just a powerful person, maybe a powerful manifester, uh, you know, somebody who can make things happen. But this is also a commitment card sometimes. Maybe that's what the justice is going to be. Maybe you'll get, you know, clarify the Hierophant. God, too many. I hate when that happens. I shouldn't say hate. Okay. Clarified the Hierophant and Hermit. Very quickly. This is happening very quickly. The Eight of Wands is, um, everybody probably knows by now what it is, unless you just started. It is something getting catapulted. Um, very quickly, it's like magic almost, like something happened, you look at the, I say magic because look at, and then right away I'm going into a song, have to believe me, I'm magic, nothing can stand in our way, Ah, so this is happening very quickly, you guys could like music because I keep singing. Now, this is happening quickly after you you walked away from somebody. Because this card, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't like this Five of Cups. I'm getting sick of it. Because it's Four of Cups, somebody thinking about you. Five of, five of Cups. This is like a lack. Like, this is, if you were with somebody in the past relationship, this is all you got to. Five Cups. Ten is, you know, like half. He was only giving you half the love. I feel like now with this Hierophant card coming, you had to walk away from somebody. And that's why something is happening quickly now. You had to walk away from somebody else. Maybe it was that page of wands. I don't know. All right, now we got the king and the queen of cups. So what I'm saying is definitely... I'm not saying definitely. I always use that word, though. Definitely, definitely. But anyways, a king and queen of cups together. If if these came out, um, only one came out in the reading. Like, if the king of cups just came out in the reading, sometimes that's... You don't know. You don't know with the king of cups. He can be in a beautiful, loving energy one day, and then the next day be, like, overly emotional. But you have a king and a queen of cups, so this is a couple who has a lot of love. A lot. Because when the king and... I don't see the king and queen come out that much. Unless it's the emperor and the empress, and then they come out. That's that's awesome. Alright, but somebody is in their head about this. Maybe they're, you know, afraid to face you after all that. Uh, that's eight of swords. That's like... Or the, this is what somebody put you in a self-imposed prison or your person could be in a self-imposed prison somebody also might not like this coming together and that could be the you no know, this but sometimes some days guys this is a, a lot of my story i feel like this as a matter of fact with only getting a couple hours of sleep i usually it don't bother me i was getting like uh i didn't like my energy it was almost like it wasn't mine I take myself out of this a lot. So if anybody's going through that, don't don't feel like you're crazy. And to be honest with you, sometimes you're not even, you don't even have a, a mental health issue. You're just overthinking. I'm not say, saying that, I'm not a doctor, okay? This is, but I'm just saying, this is something you can get yourself out of. Today, it was hard. And then... I can't believe I'm going to say it, but the song from the past that I used to jam to, 
Aryan. Losing my religion. I am the key. I own you. And I don't know if I can do it. Oh no, I said too much. So somebody needs to be more quiet with their, uh, their plans here. Maybe this needs to be kept quiet or was kept quiet. But I'm going to be honest, that just made me feel better. I, I, I've been, uh, never mind. I was going to say, I've been saying, to be honest with you, for two days straight. My daughter kept going, why, are you, why do you say that? Because it's part of the conversation. All right, well, this is the Nine of Wands. The battle's over, guys. Shuffle. I'm being told. So that that's like uh, not defeat. It's like almost triumph. Like, but then that, but then it's questionable with that one wand lit. It's questionable. Is it over? You know what I mean? But. It's looking pretty good. The reason I move around so much is because I'm very short and my feet don't hit the floor. So I, I've been doing this my whole life. Even in school, I used to get in trouble for it. All right, clarified the Nine of Wands. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Battle's over. You'll be getting, you'll be having success with this person or on your own. If somebody was trying to affect that for you. Um, I see here you got many different options. In this card, I like it. They make it. My mom used to say that money grows or money don't grow on trees. Remember that when we were little? But in this picture, it does. <laughs> That's the Nine of Pentacles. More earth energy. I always think this is Oprah, too. And it could be. I don't know if they meant. And, I, and, and you know, it's funny. She's super successful. That's why I think it's her. And it looks like her. Then that brings me to the color purple. My mind is going in a good way. That movie, if you haven't seen it, it's a pretty powerful movie. We got the Three of Pentacles collaboration. So somebody does want to work with you. With that Page of Pentacles coming out, remember I said something about a job or money or maybe help or whatever. Could be collaborating with somebody. Um... Three, three, thirty-three could be significant. Um, that's a super powerful number. That's when Jesus died or went back up to heaven with his father or whatever. And that ca that's in here twice. Not three, 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 three. Thirty-three is specifically in here. But there is a hyper. Yeah, there was a heartbreak. There was a heartbreak. I think somebody had too many options and didn't know which way to go. That's And it, it's coming right in alignment. So you could be mad if they did. But you know what? How are you going to... If you're listening to this reading because you want to see if your person's coming back, then this will help you to know what may be part of what happened or know that, that that's your person if you think they were had options or cheating with the third party, something. But somebody could have had a lot of, this could also be after everything unfold, or, you know, you get your justice, you may have a, a ton of options, like to choose from different jobs, different avenues of uh, streams of income I'm getting, the moon sign. So, yep, somebody came out right after the option card. So somebody could have been hiding, you know, feelings even. Because they couldn't choose, you know what I mean? Because it did come out right at it. But we also had the sun and the moon here, so everything's coming to light or has already. If there was hidden emotions, I think that this justice will take care of that. You could already know, though, because this looks like a loving... King and Queen of Cups, you guys have had to have known each other before. Well, you, this is a breakup card, so um, you, you probably remember, you know what I mean? Okay, like when I look up and see this, like, forehead, I feel like I look like 
a green <laughs> chair. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We got a Queen of Swords. And you already know the Empress is here, so now there's... Yeah, every Queen's out. So that's good news. That means that maybe that Queen of Pentacles wasn't, you know, was part of you being the Empress. But the Queen of Swords coming out with on the moon, okay, that, that could be you and that mental somebody put you through that or whatever. But that's why you're in that Queen of Swords energy. It's not like you're going to be mad or a monster. The Queen of Swords is also very loving. Maybe you're just protecting yourself from, obviously, what happened. Ah, uh, look it. But you're getting an Ace of Wands here. That's that's uh, Spirit stepping in there. There you go. That's the beautiful new beginning. You, you are moving forward together here. You will be moving forward out of, out of the turbulent bull crap. And this is like another card of mental confliction. So somebody could be, like I said, somebody could not be so happy about this. Maybe you guys both have third, third parties, something like that. Uh, or if it is somebody you walked away from, they may not be happy about this. But it doesn't matter. Judgment out twice. Public recognition, judgment, and justice. This is happening. Clarify the judgment card. Clarify the judgment in the Hierophant. <laughs> New beginning. Love this. Oh my God, in the four of wands. I got loud there, but I don't care. This is, I finally kind of connected with this reading. I get confused sometimes and feel like, eh, this is beautiful. New beginning, four of wands. That's the justice. I'm telling you, that's the justice. And the judgment. And maybe you guys are going to be, this person is going to make it like official that people know. Because that, that could be what this is, you know. Wow, I got to get an oracle now that that happened. Four of Wands coming out. Don't you want to just get... Or, you know what? I'm going to end it here because... I wish I could talk to you guys and get, like, a vote. Do you want an oracle card? I don't know if people like waiting. I run right into the other room. But anyways, this is a happy card to end with. Especially when you started out when... Uh, whoever this reading is for. I'm definitely picking up on somebody somebody's energy right now uh my ear is like going nuts it don't do this all day okay it only does it when i'm in a reading or if i ask uh my nana question so anyways i'm ending it with this beautiful four of wands this is a beautiful energy reading you will be getting your justice and you have um someone who loves you very dearly with the king and the Queen of Cups uh, out, and it looks like, I want to sing again, looks like we made it, because with all this stuff that happened, all those swords, all those people hating on this relationship, or whatever this was, you guys survived it, you know, you survived it, and you still got, had love through the whole thing, that's true soulmate. 11-11 wishes coming true. Uh, you could have wished on a star together for the same thing. You never know. There's stars up there. Beautiful. This looks like, uh, to me, like a carnival or circus. That would be fun. Concert. Doing something fun and celebrating. Couple cards of celebration. Love you guys. Have a great Friday evening.